Hey fellas, um, we've got a new Man Up video. The title is Safety versus Freedom versus Real Safety. Uh, we have so many, or I should put rules versus freedom versus real safety. We have so many bloody rules in our society. It is insane, and it's designed to give us the feeling of safety. What it really does, especially where gun control is concerned, is it removes the possibility for safety. So let's talk gun control for a quick bit. I'm not going to get too far into it, but we have had a few mass shootings as of late or the past few years, and you look at where these mass shootings occur, it's always in gun-free zones. It's in zones where people aren't allowed to carry guns. That includes security guards, or, or, yeah, security guards. They're not allowed to carry guns. And then we wonder why these people, these fucking nut jobs, choose gun-free zones. They don't want a gun battle. They don't want to go in and meet resistance. They want sheep, and they want to slaughter sheep. And when they're met with resistance, that's when they kill themselves. And yet, after every one of these instances, we hear people pushing for more rules. What the fuck? It's insane. Why would we take, why would we make more gun-free zones? Why would we make more regulation around legal or around law-abiding good people like you and I, to uh, force them not to be able to carry guns when we know that this is where these nut fucking nut jobs like to hunt and that's what they're doing they've got fantasies they want to they feel insignificant and they want to go out uh, they want to they want to leave their mark on society and this is how they they feel that they're going to do it and we are willingly enabling them to do this so that's guns. It, it makes no sense to take away law-abiding citizens' guns. It makes no sense to have gun-free zones. Gun-free zones make absolutely no sense. Because the people that are going in there and slaughtering people do not give a rat's ass about if it's a gun-free zone. What you should do is, in schools, have guards with guns. People aren't going to go... These nut jobs aren't going to go in and shoot up schools if they're going to be met with resistance. So, once again, rules getting in the way of real safety. The other thing is, where you could bring guns into this equation as well, is who is responsible for our safety? The name of the series is Man Up. Part of manning up is taking responsibility for your life. Part of taking responsibility for your life is taking responsibility for your family's life and for the safety of you and your family. Who among us actually thinks that the police are always going to be here to defend us? They're not. That's why people get robbed, the police show up, they see what happened, they try to catch a bad guy. Far more often than not, I think it's like 90% of the time they don't catch a bad guy. Like, we are the only ones that are responsibility, responsible for our safety. That's the reality. You are responsible for your safety, I'm responsible for my safety. So why should we let laws get in the way of good people like us being responsible for our own safety. With that said, guns aren't the best way to defend yourself in your home. A big ass dog is the best way to defend yourself in your home. Which brings me to another story. Or another instance. I've got a beautiful provincial park next to me. In Canada we have provinces, not states. And uh, it's got wildlife. Deer, coyotes, got tons of different things. Like rabbits and all that stuff. Um, so, it's a beautiful place for me to take my dog, Teddy, for a walk, because I'll walk in a straight line through a path, and he'll just dart back and forth into the woods. I won't see him for five minutes, and then I'll come out and go back in. And it's a great place for him to walk, and oddly enough, they made a, a beautiful forest like this. Uh, illegal. You get fined if you have your dog off leash. Obviously, I don't abide by that rule. I think it's silly. But... Um, why would you, like, there's, there's, there's a desire for safety that gets in the way of our freedom, and the ignorance is that we think that we can control every bad thing that happens. A little thing like having a dog off leash, people aren't going to get attacked by dogs. Someone who takes their dog off leash 
is taking his dog off leash because he knows he's not going to attack someone. Assholes don't exist where they take their dogs off leash and they 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 attack kids. Those people don't exist. If they do, they're probably going to get locked up. And they're not taking them into a beautiful park like this. The other thing is airlines. We go through all these different um, security measures, and I'm sure like some like they're going to catch the odd person. But bad things are going to happen. Evil people exist. So why the fuck would you ruin it? For the rest of us, why would you make so many laws that inhibit our freedoms? It's better to be free and have dangers out there because the dangers will always exist than be completely confined, uh, surrounded by laws, and never know true freedom. And we're seeing it with our kids even more and more with the laws that are surrounded by or, or the, the laws that are put into effect for our kids. Kids aren't allowed to play. Kids aren't allowed to go outside and run around the streets. We all want our kids to be safe and sound in their homes. Bad shit happens and it sucks. Teach your kids how to be responsible, how to stay away from strangers. But they have to have freedom. They have to learn. They have to grow. And we are in control of our own safety and that's all that exists. So, with voting, don't vote for people that... that that seek to increase regulation at every turn, or, uh, every corner. Don't vote for people that that think that that the only way to keep everyone else safe is to take away their freedoms, to take away their right to carry guns, or to take away their right to do whatever they want. Like we should be in control of our own fate, and the reality is that we are in control of our own safety. We just live under the delusion that we're not. So we'll see what the video is called. Safety versus rules versus freedom or safety, whatever. The point is, don't get caught up in this stuff, uh, in this idea that someone else is there to save you. No one else is there to save you. Your government's not there to save you. They're not protecting you. The go your police aren't there to save you. They might figure out what happened to you, but that's kind of a bit too late. Who The people who are here to defend you is the, the only person here... That's in control of your own safety is the man looking in the mirror. So get a big ass dog and stop trying to regulate or stop trying to increase regulation for firearms. As we've seen time and time again, gun free zones are just a place for sheep to go and some piece of shit to go hunting. That's it. Man up. Take control of your own safety and take control of your family's safety. Don't wait for someone else to do it. Talk soon.